government incentives and promotional schemes for apparel and textile sector. India is a leading global manufacturer of textiles. Financial year 20 to 21 estimates show that the Indian textile industry is worth $75 billion. More than 12% of global exports come from the Indian textile and apparel industry. Although the government has existing programs such as remission of duties and taxes on exported products among others, the launch of the PLI scheme could open up new opportunities for the sector. There is a high consumption and export demand for textiles in the global market and is a major attraction for entrepreneurs. But before we look at the details of these incentives, I urge you to like and share this video and consider subscribing to our channel. While India has a long ancient tradition of exports of garments and textiles, it has started lagging behind many countries in the recent decades. Also, we are far behind in areas such as technical textiles. So, government has announced multiple schemes and incentives to improve India's position in the global textile and apparel industry. Our export of garments was stagnant for several years and we were behind China, Bangladesh and Vietnam in export. The global contribution in technical textiles is about 27%, whereas India's contribution is 11%. In order to increase production to meet global demand, the Ministry of Textiles has launched several technical textile schemes during the previous five-year plan. As a result of the several initiatives taken by the government, textile production and exports from India have performed better in recent months. The export of textiles and apparel from India during April to July 2021-22 to stood at $34.459 billion, posting a growth of 49% over $23.137 billion in the same period in 2020-21. to Government initiatives that have played a major role in strengthening textile are as follows. Amended Technology Upgradation Fund Scheme for Textiles Industry ATUFS was launched in January 2016, designed to provide stimulus to entrepreneurs and business owners for upgrading technology. A one-time capital subsidy will be offered to business owners from technical textiles, garments and weaving. The central government will provide 15% subsidy to the garment, apparel and technical textile sectors. A fund of $2.7 billion has been allocated for ATUFS scheme. The funds will be spent over the span of next seven years. ATUFS facilities are expected to receive an investment of $15 billion and create 3 million jobs in the country. The scheme is effective up to March 2023. Scheme for Integrated Textile Parks, SITP Scheme for Integrated Textile Park has been planned to provide support for the creation of world-class infrastructure facilities for setting up of textile units. Government of India has announced a grant up to 90% of the project cost for first two projects each in the states of Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Tripura, Sikkim, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand and Jammu and Kashmir, with a ceiling limit of Rs 40 crores for each textile park. A total of 59 textile parks has been sanctioned under SITP by the Ministry of Textiles, out of which 22 textile parks have been finalized and rest are under various stages of construction. Sati Scheme The Ministry of Textile and Union Ministry of Power have jointly launched a scheme called Sati, Sustainable and Accelerated Adoption of Efficient Textile Technologies to Help Small Industries. Under this initiative, small and medium power loom units will be provided with energy-efficient power looms, motors and repair kits at no advance cost by Energy Efficiency Services Limited, which is a public sector undertaking under the Ministry of Power. Merchandise Export from India Scheme The Government of India has introduced exports from India schemes through the Foreign Trade Policy 2015-20, which came into effect from 1st April 2015. Merchandise Exports from India Scheme and Service Exports from India Scheme are the two schemes for export of merchandise and services which has been designed with the goal of making India's export products more competitive in the global markets. As part of this, the government has provided rewards to exporters to counterbalance infrastructural deficiencies and associated costs involved and to supply exporters with a level field. In the new draft of this policy, the Directorate General of Foreign Trade has revised rates for incentives under the Merchandise Exports from India scheme for two divisions of textiles industry that are ready-made garments and made-ups from 2% to 4%. Scheme for Capacity Building in Textiles Sector 
This skill development scheme named Scheme for Capacity Building in Textile Sector was approved by the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs in 2017 with an expenditure of Rs 1300 crore from 2017 to 18 to 2019 to 20. The program aims at skill development of 10 lakh youth by 2020, which covers the entire value chain of textile sector except spinning and weaving. The key focus of this scheme is to provide a demand-driven and placement-oriented skilling program to create jobs in the organized textile sector and to promote skilling and skill upgradation in the traditional sectors. The scheme enables to provide sustainable livelihood either by wage or self-employment to all sections of the society throughout the country. Research in Technical Textiles An outlay of Rs 1,000 crore was made for advanced research and innovation in technical textiles at par with the best in the world. Research topics in 94 categories covering specially fibres and composites, geotextiles, agrotextiles, protective textiles, medical textiles, defence textiles, sports textiles and environmentally friendly or biodegradable technical textiles have been identified and research proposals have been invited. By mid-March 2022, 31 research projects have been approved to various research institutes, including Indian Institute of Technology, Defence Research and Development Organisation, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research and Textiles Research Associations with total estimated cost of Rs 110 crore. Integrated Processing Development Scheme in order to facilitate the textile industry to meet the required environmental standards and to support new common effluent treatment plants, upgradation of CEPTs in existing processing clusters, as well as new processing parks, especially in the coastal zones. PM Mitra to attract initiative and to boost employment generation through setting up of 7 p.m. mega-integrated textile region and apparel parks in greenfield or brownfield sites with world-class infrastructure including plug-and-play facility with an outlay of Rs 4,445 crore for a period of 7 years up to 2027-28. to Government Incentives Reduction of Custom Duty in PLI Scheme the revamp of the entire textile industry is the main objective of the PLI scheme. The biggest benefit of the PLI scheme is the reduction in the customs duty, which till now has been a dampening factor for raw material importers. The MSME industry is all set to make massive gains in the areas of financial sustainability and profit generation. The Government of India has boasted the input subsidies on crucial raw materials and an amount of Rs 15,700 crore has been allotted to construct new shipping lines. Reduction of customs duty will have a stark effect on the shipping costs, thereby ensuring that the long-term survival of the central public sector industries. Improvement in logistics is another great feature of the standardization of custom duties. There will be overall positive growth drivers as the PLI scheme concentrates on improving the infrastructure related to railways, shipping and highways. Removal of anti-dumping duty to boost exports in man-made fibre sector, the government removed anti-dumping duty on PTA, viscose staple fibre and acrylic. This is expected to help the man-made fibre industry. Rebate of state and central taxes and levies extension This scheme that was effective from March 2019 has been extended till 31st March 2024 for exports of apparel or garments and made-ups in order to make the Indian textile sector competitive in the international market. Recent packages provided to this sector. Government is formulating various new textile policy for overall development of the sector. Individuals through e-portal and different federations are being asked under broad topics like natural fibres, man-made fibres, hand looms, handicrafts, power loom, technical textiles, technology and machinery advancements, infrastructure for spinning, weaving and processing and human resource development. In order to address various problems faced by textile industry, government has implemented various schemes to provide support to textiles and apparel sector. Government has launched a separate scheme for development of knitting and knitwear sector under Powertex India to boost production in knitting and knitwear cluster at Ludhiana, Kolkata and Tirupur. For handlooms, National Handloom Development Program, Comprehensive Handloom Cluster Development Scheme, Handloom Weaver Comprehensive Welfare Scheme and Yarn Supply Schemes are being worked or integrated and holistic development of handlooms and welfare of handloom weavers.
For handicrafts, National Handicrafts Development Program and Comprehensive Handicraft Cluster Development Schemes are being updated to provide maximum benefits to the artisans. An Integrated Scheme for Development of Silk, Silk Sangram the focus of the scheme is to improve the quality and productivity of domestic silk so that the country does not have to depend on imported silk. Jude ICARE is another initiative for increasing the income of farmers through different interventions and create awareness among the growers regarding the latest technologies. To increase the economy, Northeast Region Textile Promotion Scheme has been implemented for promoting and contributing towards the textile industry for state-of-the-art production at large scale. It will contribute to India's GDP, domestic and international exportation and also preserve the cultural heritage. PLI Scheme in the Textile Industry and Overview In March 2020, the Union Government introduced the PLI or Product Linked Incentive Scheme to reduce import costs. Implemented in December 2021, the undertaking aims to empower India to become self-sufficient. With the Atmanirbhar scheme, India can produce and manufacture goods within its borders. The PLI scheme maintained the same objective, to boost the economy and create new employment opportunities. During the next five years, the textile sector will receive incentives worth Rs 10,683 crore through the PLI scheme. Local companies can also set up new manufacturing facilities under the PLI scheme. Among the products covered are more than 40 categories under man-made fibers and 10 classifications under technical textiles. Within man-made fibers, the scheme will cover products such as trousers, bandages, shirts, pullovers and safety airbags. The technical textile segment, however, is a relatively new product in the Indian market. Thus, it's used in various sectors such as defense, automobiles, water, health and aviation can improve its marketability. The government also introduced a National Technical Textiles Mission to aid the sector's research and development. PLI Scheme Roadmap With such a massive budget allocated to Indian textiles, the government hopes to accomplish a few things including the following. Ensure that all existing manufacturing industries receive the necessary resources to achieve the objectives of the PLI scheme. Obtain raw materials at a reasonable price. Small-scale manufacturers will mainly benefit from this. Manufacturers will also receive adequate resources to market their products and make their products discoverable. PLI scheme implementation will possibly result in thousands of good-paying jobs over the next few years. Thus, people from remote areas can find suitable jobs. PLI 2.0 Proposed Ministry of Textiles has proposed a round 2 of PLI scheme for 1. Apparel, Garments, Home Textiles and 2. Textile Accessories like Embellishments, Trimmings, Zippers, Lace, Velcro Tape, Elastic Tape, Button and Eyelet etc. The objective of the scheme is to enhance India's manufacturing capabilities in value-added finished textile products by inviting additional investment for increasing production in this labor-intensive sector, which by nature requires low investment but has high employment generation capacity. Thus, the scheme is designed to attract fresh investment to boost domestic manufacturing, including MSMEs, resulting in creation of lacks of employment opportunities. Also, in textile accessories sector, there is heavy import dependence and investment will boost production leading to import substitution. The Ministry of Textiles is considering three investment thresholds of Rs 15 crore, Rs 30 crore and Rs 45 crore with double turnover as the criteria for incentives that would range between 8% and 10% under the 4200 crore scheme. The scheme will attract investment and reduce the import dependence in textile accessories. PLI Scheme Benefits for Textile Industry With the PLI Scheme, textile industries will generate more than 7.5 lakh jobs and yield a turnover of INR 3 lakh crores. Additionally, the scheme will create thousands of additional jobs in the supporting industries. Investments under the PLI Scheme will also be prioritized in Tier 3 and Tier 4 cities, making it easier for people to explore opportunities in these areas. As an industry, textiles can also focus more on employing women and celebrating women's success. As a result of the scheme, states like UP, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra and Punjab will experience positive economic growth. PLI scheme benefits raw material importers by reducing customs duty, a dampening factor in the past. Through changes in the raw materials and final products, the Indian textile industry will become highly efficient in the future, resulting in economic and lower production costs. Future Outlook 
India is the second largest garment manufacturer in the world and has a textile industry that dates back centuries and is comprised of a variety of sectors including hand spun and hand woven as well as mills. During the last five years, the sector has received FDI and several other investments. Under the automatic approval route approach, the Indian government has authorized 100% FDI. Many more investments from programs such as Scheme for Capital Building and Production-Linked Incentive are helping to improve the industry's output and exports. By 2025, the textile sector in India is anticipated to attract investments totaling 120 billion US dollars and grow exports to 300 billion US dollars. So the key focus is to boost production and a greater emphasis on technological upgrades and weaving capacity expansion. This is it for today's video. If you liked it, please like and share. If you have any questions, please write it down in the comment section below. And for more such videos, please subscribe to IBI India Business Insights. Thank you for watching.